You're listening to the ABC. Sarah Tomlinson is my name. And coming up next, a very unique project that's now being trialled in metropolitan hospitals and was actually started by the illusionist David Copperfield. It's called The Magic Project and it's helping people with disabilities do things that uh, they just didn't think their body or anyone's body could do. That's coming up. Now, we all wish we could cure ailments and make people's lives easier with a magic wand, but could we be waving off magic actually helping people? Now, I know I was pretty sceptical too when I first saw this, but a new program originally designed by David Copperfield is helping people living with disabilities to take the things their body can't do and make them into things that even able-bodied people would struggle to believe. Jack Daniels is a magician who's been working on this in Metro Hospitals. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. What's the, what is Project Magic? Project Magic, it's basically a program that uses magic as a form of therapy. Um, so people have some sort of disability, you know, low self-esteem, brain injuries, and it basically um, gives them a skill, as you said, that most able-bodied people can't do. So as a result, uh, the patient's self-esteem increases, um, and you know, at the same time, it basically becomes a conditioning tool that gets the patient one step closer to their own therapeutic goal. Uh, you know, so for example, you might have someone who maybe can't dress themselves or find it hard to, you know, grab a spoon to feed themselves. So rather than for them doing the traditional uh, therapy, we basically create some magic effects where the person is still doing the therapy, but in a magical way, using magic, magic trickery, magic effects. But that is kind of helping them to be able to, you know, grab a spoon down the track, get them to use their fingers, um, improve their dexterity, you know, high cognitive skills. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's a pretty, it's an amazing program. It's an absolutely amazing program. Where do you start? Is it a, a case by case basis? Yeah, pretty much. Um, because you know, obviously, there's various different types of disabilities, and you know, so there's a lot of different things areas of that. So essentially, we would sit down with the therapist or the occupational therapist, and we will, you know, basically find out what what is the current patient, what is it that they can't do at the moment, and what are they trying to achieve, what is their goal. So, you know, because at the end of the day, we're not trying to teach them to be magicians. We want them to be better, you know, get them closer to their, to their, to their main goal. So we look at what the stuff that they can and cannot do at the moment. And we basically pretty much tailor a, a magic course, if you will, where, you know, the therapist sits with them on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and essentially tries to learn these magic tricks, simple magic tricks. Um, and, you know, through repetition, um, you know, obviously, it helps them down the track. What, what are some of the basic tricks that they, they might learn? Yeah, um, there's various ones. We got, there's the most popular one is one that's called the jumping rubber band, um, where they place, it basically allows the patient, it, it kind of helps them to open and close their hands. So people with arthritis, for example, they're using their you know finger movements, um, they're using their memory skills. Basically what the effect is, they place a rubber band on their first two fingers they close, make a fist, and as they open up a hand, the rubber band jumps from their first two fingers to their to their to the last two fingers. Um, it, it's very quick. It looks very impressive. But what's great about it is, you know, the patient they can show it to their family and their friends and loved ones, and yet, you know, someone who is able-bodied cannot duplicate it because they don't know the secret. Mm-hmm. So that obviously makes the patient feel a lot more better about themselves. Oh. Um, mm. Sorry, keep going. Yeah. Well, you know, no, I was going to say, I mean, one, one perfect example with the rubber band, uh, we recently got involved with a new show, a new, um, a new show, a medical show called Recover Me, where basically using, um, you know, magic as a form of therapy, basically educating the home audience in an entertaining way. Um, it's a fantastic new show. So this rubber band is actually featured on that. Um, so, yeah, if you want to check it out, um, just check out Recover Me show on Facebook and you'll see the actual video of it. And, and you've seen the confidence for for yourself and the and the impact yeah. that this has had. Definitely, definitely. I mean, we we've we've introduced this even even to kids disciplinary school, for example, where you know kids are want, we we introduced it to a school in Sydney where the you know kids who went to the school they're one step away from juvenile detention. So the teachers thought it might be great to incorporate a bit of magic for the kids to kind of keep them back in line and you know put their mind away from the negative side of life. So, you know, we've experienced uh, patients who had very difficulty using their fingers. They couldn't open their hands properly. So it's just like everything else. You know, at the end of the day, they're still doing therapy, but it's a, bit, it's a more fun way. You're breaking away from that tradition.
traditional um, old school therapy, but you're making it more interesting and more fun for the patient themselves. Um, what's, what's great that we've seen as well is, you know, everybody likes to see a good piece of magic. So when you show the patient these effects, you see them light up. They want to know how it's done. So once you tell them, they basically, what we've noticed is they want to, they seem to want to push their own envelope because they want to execute the effect so they can show it to their parents. They can show it to their husband, their wife, their kids. Um, and, you know, just basically share something. But at the same time, like I said before, was they can feel good about it because no one around them can do these stuff. If you've just joined us, Jack Daniels is with us. He's a magician who's uh, been teaching Project Magic, uh, which was a program developed uh, to help people who might be living with disabilities to learn magic tricks in order to build strength and uh, and confidence. What sort of training did you need to do to, to bring this into Australia? Um, well, tra- I've, been, I've been an illusionist for about 20 years, so it's, it's yeah, I've been basically doing this stuff for, for a very long time. So um, there wasn't really much training needed because there was most of the trade secrets that were given away. I was going to say, it's um, very hard to teach people measure yeah. a secret. Well, it's, it's, it's one of those things. It's an industry where it's, it's quite a mystery and secrecy, yet you're trying to teach someone how to improve their life with it. So where do, where, you know, where's, the, where's the middle part to it? Um, <laughs> but no, I mean, I was already trained. I knew, you know, I've been doing it for, for many years. I mostly do it big illusions now, grand scale illusions. Um, however, when David introduced it in Sydney, into Australia, um, I think it was 1994, um, I was there, uh, we had a chat with him. I saw the benefit because from my point of view, from my background, I mean, I was very shy when I was a kid. I used to get picked on. I was bullied at school. I always was, I was very afraid to kind of be in large crowds. So the only thing that kind of helped me out was when I got introduced to magic. So it kind of really hit home to me. Um, I knew I got better from socialization skills and all that stuff just through what I'm doing now as a, you know, as a professional illusionist. So straight away, I saw the benefit. If I got, you know, if I was such a shy kid, um, to, you know, I always got picked on at school and all that stuff to now someone who, you know, the biggest shows that we've played has been in front of 5,000 people and that's like a piece of cake for us. So we saw the benefit. Um, and you know, it's from a magician's point of view, whole job is to make the impossible become possible so what better way to use what we do um, to you know give back to someone who actually needs magic in their life Mm, are there plans to expand this program across australia we actually plan to yeah at the moment um there's a there's a couple of uh, hospitals within sydney um who who are using it who run it um um, for example like the nepean hospital in western sydney they've been running it for uh, almost four years now um, with great amazing results um, there's been a few other organisations who have wanted to, to take it on board, a few schools. So, yeah, so the plan is we want to eventually expand it because um, it, it is a proven therapy. I mean, we have seen results um, and, you know, it works. So it's it's a great way to do, you know, something different. It is indeed, and uh, and we thank you for sharing it with us today. Jack Daniels is an illusionist uh, working on the uh, working on Project Magic. Jack, uh, Jack, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. You're listening to the ABC. That's Jack Daniels, illusionist for Project Magic, which teaches magic as therapy for people living with disabilities.